This is Jennifer Payank with A Crocheted Simplicity. In this video tutorial is going to teach you how to do the chainless single crochet, often referred to as the foundation single crochet. It's a pretty simple stitch once you learn the basics of it, and um, you can use it to begin a variety of projects. The stitch itself um, lends to a stretchier fabric, so it's great for beginning a uh, headband, head wrap, ear warmer. Um, it's also great for beginning the first row of your afghan if it calls for a single crochet row. Um, instead of chaining a hundred and some stitches, you can just do the foundation or single uh, chainless single crochet and row one is done just as quickly almost as if you were just going to chain. So to begin, you start with a slip knot on your hook and then we're going to chain two. You're going to insert your hook into the first chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. This gives you one single crochet. You can see here are your top loops of that first stitch. Now where you're going to insert your hook next is into this stitch here. It's almost as if we were chaining one, chaining up. When working the stitch, I'll explain more in just a second. Insert your hook into that loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop. That's kind of where you create that chain one to move up, yarn over, pull through two loops. And now you have two single crochets. Let's try that again. So insert your hook into that one loop of that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, Again, created that chain one, yarn over, pull through two loops. And now we have three. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And now that loop gets a little bit more visible and it's easier to look, uh, see where you need to insert for the next stitch. I've continued on and worked a few more um, chainless single crochets, but it's pretty easy once you get going. So you just repeat that insert in the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through the remaining loops. Insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. So you just keep going at that um, and work as many stitches as you need. And you're all set. And you can see how, how much stretch the fabric has working that stitch. I hope you give it a try.